My name is Louise Varner with Oracle JD Edwards. Today I'll be showing you a quick demo of the new JD Edwards Enterprise One Release 9.0 Mobile Field Service Work Order application designed to run on the iPad. With Enterprise One Tools Release 898.4.5, JD Edwards' entire E1 suite is now available for use on the iPad, inclusive of the new gestures we've built for the Enterprise One ERP designed to minimize and or eliminate typing and leverage the native user experience touch attributes that make the iPad so attractive. In this use case, you are logged in as a service technician, your business contracts with customers to perform on-site service for servers, and you have been dispatched to a customer to investigate a server that is down. You touch the, fi the fast path field, it's context sensitive and will bring up a keyboard. Enter the name of the application, P48100, you can use the buttons on the lower left and lower right to toggle between alpha and numeric. This will bring up the application of a filtered list of the work orders that you, the technician, have been assigned to. You are interested in servers down, which is the first work order in the grid, so you select that record. You are en route and you'd like to know where to go, so you touch either the customer number or the site number hyperlink. Site number 4242 will appear on Google Maps, giving you the information that you need to know to travel to your destination. Simply note where you're going and toggle back to the application. Once you arrive, you are ready to start the work order and you'd like to look at it in greater detail. Just touch the order number field and the work order will load. Notice very minimal information is presented in the header. The back office has provided you with extra information in the media objects. You have schematics and other information that is helpful for your job. Touch the media object icon to take a better look at the schematics and other media objects. You can see the schematic and you can use your fingers to drill in closer to get a better look at the schematic. There's also a URL provided that you can download server manuals and you have flowcharts and other text media objects that you can use to record the notes of the work that you do on this work order. Once you have the information that you need, just navigate back to the work order. If you are interested in seeing the parts or the labor steps necessary, there are buttons at the bottom of the screen that you can touch that will bring up the parts list and the labor steps. The status field is MG. Use the smart button to advance to the next available status using the work order activity rules. Once the work is complete and you've advanced the status, you are ready to close out the work order. Touch OK. Back on the list of filtered work order lists, you will see that the work order status has been updated to MJ. You are now ready to be dispatched to the next work order for you to work on. Thank you.